In this video, we pick up where we left off last time with our clean data set and we learn how to create some plots, the common kinds of plots we'll often use for data visualization, and then we'll show a few useful arguments to make plots more presentable. Here we are with pandas imported. We'll also need to import matplotlib as that's the plotting backend that pandas is actually going to use to draw the plots. Next, we'll want to import our data and we're going to be using the data set uh, with a few minor modifications from last time, which you can download using the link below um, in the description or by going to the repository. And we're going to say that the index is this zeroth column such that pandas does not create its own index. And here we go. We have our data set. So now from this, when we want to create plots, we use the plot method, which is defined on the series and the data frame objects. The most important keyword argument to know about for the plot method is the argument called kind. And this specifies what kind of plot you want to create. The most common plot kinds you'll probably use are vertical and horizontal bar charts. Uh, those are for creating uh, visualizations of categorical data. Uh, there is also the histogram, which show the frequency distribution over a given variable. There is a scatter plot, which displays two columns versus one another as individual points in a 2D plane. There is a line chart, which is similar to the scatter plot, but shows points connected with line segments. And there's also a pie chart, which um, shows also categorical data. It's pretty similar to the bar chart and in situations where you have many categories or small differences between categories, it really makes a lot of sense to use a bar chart instead of a pie chart as it's easier to see those differences. Um, see below for a link to the full list of plot kinds available. There are many others, although uh, the first four here you'll probably use a lot of the time. Let's start by picking up one of the questions we asked last time, which was who are the organizations that have launched the most space missions? And last time we answered this by accessing the company name column and then calling value counts on that uh, series. And this told us for every company, how many entries are there with that value? So in this case, the type of this object is a series, the index consist of these company names, and then the values consist of the value counts. So this is something that we can plot. As I said, it is a um, series, so we can just call plot directly on this result. So let's call plot. And since this is categorical data, let's have a, a horizontal bar chart be created. So here's what we have. So this looks pretty terrible. And the reason for that is just the large number of categories there are. All these uh, labels are overlapping, so we're going to need to clean this up a little bit. So for the question that we're asking, it's perfectly reasonable to just show the top 10 or even 20 organizations. So to do that, I can use method chaining and say, hey, I just like the top 20 uh, companies to be shown. And when we do that, we have a pretty readable plot um, with the highest number at the bottom. So if we wanted to provide a title for this plot, then we can use the title keyword argument. So I'll say organizations with most space missions. So this is a really nice uh, plot that we could just drop into a presentation and it's uh, very fast to create. Now that we've gone over plotting this categorical data in the form of a horizontal bar chart, next let's plot some numeric data in a histogram. Um, so a histogram basically shows the frequency distribution in buckets that we call bins uh, on the horizontal axis. Uh, so we have a little hiccup here, which is if we just naively take the mission cost in millions USD called plot, let's say kind is his, that's the histogram, uh, option, then we get an error. So why is this? No numeric data to plot. So the way we would investigate this is uh, say, okay, well, what what is in this column? And so let's just look at the first entry. Uh, so let's use what is an inter integer location zero. 
and indeed it is a stir. And indeed, if we look even uh, more carefully, we'll find that these uh, numbers which are currently the type string, also have commas in them. So we'll both need to get rid of the commas and then we'll need to convert this uh, string type to some numeric type such that we can plot it in the histogram. Okay, so first, getting rid of commas. Um, so that's pretty simple. There is a replace method that will let us say, okay, this is what we would like to replace the comma with nothing. We'll pass regex equals true and in place equals true such that these changes take place in the original data frame and boom, our commas will be gone. Uh, so next we can use a kind of handy method that pandas provides called uh, to numeric uh, to replace the contents of this series. So pd to numeric and then we just pass um, this same column name. And that should convert this column to a numeric type. There's also an as type method you can use uh, instead for casting a pandas object to a specific data type. Um, so that's an, an alternative to this uh, to numeric method. Um, okay, so now we should be able to redo this plot. And if all has gone well, then it should work. And indeed it does. So, okay, we have a histogram going from zero to 5,000. Again, this is in millions USD. Um, and right now this is not super useful as a plot. So one useful argument is to set the bins. So we can set this to be 50 bins, which would mean that there will be 50 buckets on this x-axis uh, that values are broken down into. So, okay, we've learned a little bit more here. We have a little bit more resolution of this lower end of the histogram, but still, you know, it's not the greatest. And, you know, when you have a lot of empty space in a plot, that's not saying anything, as is the case here um, in the range 2000 to 4000. It's completely useless. Um, so we might just want to show maybe this region from zero to 500 million USD. And to do that, we can say, okay, just give me the columns where mission cost in millions USD is less than 500. And then we'll plot this as before. So that's kind of cool. We see a lot more resolution. And this is now starting to look like uh, a, a useful plot. Um, what we might want to get rid of is, is this legend. So if we want to toggle a legend off, we can say legend is false. And maybe we want to have a little uh, title instead. Um, mission cost in millions USD. Okay, so that's kind of useful. So these plots are very useful for data exploration because already, you know, as we're making these histograms, the natural question is, okay, what are these two out here? Um, and we can use this same approach to select only the missions where the mission cost in millions USD is greater than 4,000. And that'll tell us what those two values are. So it turns out for the curious that this was the first launch of uh, Russia's version of the space shuttle, which is, which is why it's so expensive. Um, and then the second mission was the launch of an orbital laser weapons platform both launched on uh, super heavy lifters. So that's why these uh, two missions were uh, outliers. In summary, in this video, we learned how to create plots using the plot method on the series or data frame. We learned how to specify the type of plot using the kind keyword argument. And we also learned some of the common arguments that we would use there. We learned some other useful options, including setting the title and number of bins. And as a little bonus, we learned how to do type conversions using pandas to numeric function. I hope this was useful and thank you for watching.